Hello everyone, this is Lionel from Guitar Junkie TV. Welcome to Vlog episode number two. Um, I hope you have seen my previous video on Logic Pro X. Today I'm going to show you something different, uh, some other softwares that I have been using. Two of them in fact. Um, the first one I'd like to talk about is Rift Station. Alright, this Rift Station can be found on the Windows platform and Macintosh platform. It's a great software that helps guitarists like myself who are learning constantly to make things a little bit more easy. Everything is compact into one software bundle, but the downside to it is that it's not free. Uh, you need to go to the website to purchase a copy of it. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below. Uh, so just drop by and if you find that this software is good, they have a 30 day trial if I'm not mistaken. So try it out, purchase it and give it a shot. Uh, okay, let's begin with Rift Station. We'll go ahead and click on File, Open Audio File, and point to the MP3 file that we want to open. Okay, once the file is opened up, it's pretty much the same thing. You can see the waveform is over here. Um, Rift Station is cool because uh, it has the isolation thing built in, or the phase invert function that's already built in. I'll just play a snippet for you. You can just click here. And you can see it's under the isolate section. You can move the slider over to the left and you pretty much only hear the guitars on the left side, which is already phased in. But if you move it to the right side, you hear a different set of audio coming from the right side. Let me just turn this up a little bit for you. You can change the width of the spectrum over here, like more or less. Right? As you can hear on the right side, you can hear a lot of the wire guitars. Okay, if we move the spectrum over to the left side, you'll be able to hear the rhythm guitar. Yeah, so this is cool. You do not need to do any phase invert. You just need to click one button and everything's pretty much done. The plus point compared to this to Logic Pro, Logic Pro just does a invert and everything just mesh together. Uh, for this, you can pan it to the left and pan it to the right, which you can hear more. Uh, let's move to the solo area. Let's see, let's see solo right. So solo beans around here. We can go do the isolate thing again, but we move the slider right to the center. And just narrow the wave. Now all you hear is the lead guitar, the solo, and some snare. That's all you hear. Okay, Rift Station also be able to change the tempo of the song um, just by doing this. Let me just zoom this in for you. You can just change this. Well, as, as normal, you change the speed, but the tune will still be in check. You'll still be the same tune. It's as slow as it goes. And to the min, to, to the max. Okay, let's put this back to normal. Okay, let's move to the metronome section. Um, metronome section is right at the bottom here. No synchronization needs to be done. Everything is really done when you import the file. So you just need to turn this up. And it's perfectly in sync. Alright, so uh, what's more in Rift Station? There's some other functions where you have the Rift Builder. I won't go into that. That's uh, another thing altogether. The next one is quite useful in a sense, but uh, it's called the Chord Viewer. Um, it basically shows you the chords that are being used in the song. What I like about this is, well, it's, it's cool and all that you can find the chords of the song, but it's only 60 to 70 percent accurate. So let's just take a look and see how it works. Let me just turn this. As you can see, the chords are being changed here. G sharp minor, F sharp. And well, it's it's great, but. It's not entirely accurate, so uh, even myself, I don't use this unless I'm really stuck with a chord that I can't figure out. Riff Station is a great piece of software for the learning guitarist. I would highly recommend that you guys get a copy of this. Uh, maybe get the free trial and try it out. If you don't like it, don't buy it. If you do like it, please support the developer and purchase it. Okay, another thing to note about Riff Station is that they have excellent customer service. Uh, I remember having some problems with the Rift Station previously and customer service were very fast to get back to me. So that's definitely a no worry zone. Go ahead and be confident about buying Rift Station. Okay, let's move on to the next one. 
And here is Audacity. Audacity is a free door on the Windows and Macintosh platform. Um, it's great for recording podcasts, voiceovers, maybe some simple guitar work. Um, the interface, I wouldn't say it's really user-friendly, but um, there's only one thing that I can use from Audacity that I see that's usable for me, will be to use the vocal remover. So let me show you how I do it. We go to, we open the Audacity, go to File, Open, point to the MP3 file, click Open. Alright, once you see the file in its waveform, Alright, so what we want to do is we want to remove the vocals. So it pretty much gives you that same face invert um, kind of format. I'll just show you how you do it. You go to Effect, then go to Vocal Remover. Simple as that, just click OK. You don't have to play with any of the settings. As you can see, the waveform here now is greatly reduced. Okay, let's just play and see how it sounds. I might hear a bit of clicking. So as you can hear, it's pretty much like a face in the kind of audio from the logical. Well, on the bright side, this door is totally free. No catches, there's no advertising, there's no weird stuff going on. It's totally free. So um, if finance is a problem, get this audacity, you get the job done. Alright, so that's all for the two softwares that I'd like to show you guys today. So the two softwares are, number first one will be from Rift Station. Second one is Audacity. Uh, yeah, uh, I had some viewers who actually asked me, what's a DAW? Um, DAW stands for Digital Audio Workstation. Okay, so remember that if you're going to be using DAWs in the future. Alright guys, that's all I have for you today. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comment section below. Please remember to like and subscribe, spread the word. Um, in the next episode of Vlog, I'll probably be showing you guys how I learned the song. Uh, initially, I wanted to do this uh, via live stream, but I think there's too much lag going on and it won't be as efficient. So until the next episode, this is Guitar Junkie, signing off.